Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be talking about five reasons why I'm keeping my DJI Phantom 3 standard. Number one, if you're talking about price and performance, this drone is it. The price is between four to five hundred US dollars, depending on when you buy it. For example, in, during Black Friday, you can get it for around 400 US dollars. But now during Christmas, around 500 US dollars. But still at 500 US dollars, it is a bang for your buck. It includes everything you need to fly. And the view on the camera, the video recording, is amazing. And I'll talk about that later. But it can include the remote control, it includes the gimbal with a built-in camera, and that camera is amazing as well. It's a one and 2.3 inch sensor camera with f2.8 lens. Now what that means it can do a very good job in taking uh, videos and photos. 12 megapixel cam uh, pictures. So in terms of that the specs is amazing and for the cost. So that's the number one reason why I would keep this drone. Number two. Number two this is what I said here. I said that because the camera is so good, it's so good that it can take 2.7K videos. Now, what that means is it has a very high resolution video. Not 4K, but still for the price you're paying, under 500 US dollars, you're getting high resolution in 1080p, you're getting 2.7K videos. And you can color grade those videos that you take as well. So in terms of you know becoming a short film uh, director or filmmaker this is a dream to have and I mentioned that in my previous video already that for the price you're paying you know you're starting out and you want to do this action film aerial view um, filming this drone is the way to start out with so number two number three which is not talked about in any uh, website or internet or even on YouTube videos now I've seen some doing it is that it has ability to uh, carry objects up to 1.2 kilograms I've seen videos and you can check that on YouTube that somebody experimented with it and were able to lift out uh, you know several coke cans or a, a, uh, a 2.2 pounds of liquid so that's amazing now what's so what right well the possibilities is endless you see having ability to be able to carry um, object in air meaning that you could mod your drone and put stuff in there that was not possible before and I'm going to show you in future videos what you can put on your drone and it's going to be amazing so that's number three number four I put the batteries the batteries is compatible with uh, DJI Phantom 3 whether you're talking about advanced when you talk about 4k or you're talking about professional so if you decide to move from standard to professional you can do that you can move up and don't have to worry about the battery because they're all compatibles because you know the battery is quite expensive uh, for one battery if you want to buy in a store it will cost you almost $200 Canadian uh, US dollars maybe $150 but still, that's a lot of money. So being able to take that battery and transfer to uh, DJI Phantom 3 Pro without additional cost is pretty good. You can always sell your uh, Phantom 3 without the battery for maybe around two, three hundred dollars US, and then keep the battery so you can use it for your Phantom 3 Pro. Number five, the DJI Go app is amazing, right? It has packed with so many features, which I don't even know uh, one tenth of it, and I'm still learning about it. And you know, I'm talking about color grading, I'm talking about adjusting um, the camera, you know, ISO and all that stuff, uh, fine tuning the gimbal, and so on. Like I mean, you can be literally learning about the app for weeks, and then you know, still not fully master it. So you know, the learning opportunity is there. All right. And so that's those are the five reasons why I'm keeping 
my DJI Phantom 3 standard. Now, if I were to upgrade, the next upgrade would probably be Mavic Pro because it's so portable that I can carry it in my uh, bag. That would be the next stage. Now, if I decide to be a professional short filmmaker, I might want to get DJI Phantom 4 Pro or even if I have the money, I might move on to the Inspire 2. But again, I don't have the money, so I may stick with just the Mavic Pro. But for now, I'm very happy with my DJI Phantom 3 standard. Let me know what you think. Write a comment here, and I hope you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. EducateTube.com